Now, children, today I'm Ava from a story that I'm going to teach you about in a minute. Do you want to say hello, Ava? Hello, Ava. Hello, cave children. You look amazing with your little headbands. We're going to do a quick check of our sounds. Are you ready with your caption actions? Here we go. Very good. Using the actions, use various voices to review previous sounds. And only review a small selection of sounds. What's this sound? A. A. Can you show me the action for A? Snail trail. Very good. The phonics area sent her magic book bag. Look at this. Wow. A magic book bag. And inside, she has put a story for today. Caveman Dave, one of my favourite stories by a writer illustrator Nick Sharrett. Now, can you do this for me? Put two fingers up like that, your little finger and your index finger, and I want you to face it that way. So turn your hand round so it faces that way, and I want you to say A. A. I use a magic book bag to reveal the story, and when modelling the new grapheme, I use memorable writing resources. So with Came and Dave, I'm using chalk on black paper, or I could have easily used shaving foam to model the A split digraph. Can you see that? My index finger's pointed to the A, and my little finger's pointed to the E. If I think of the word cave, K A V cave. Watch what happens when I write it. K A V K A V cave. Model write a number of the words for the children to practice. Did you hear something? Yeah. Oh. A. I just. Oh. 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 It's coming on down. Dave and Dave is another teacher in the school, so try asking your TA to take on this role, or maybe your head teacher or even a parent with a beard. This is a lesson the children will never forget. Also, for fun, cut up strips of fabric for the children to transform into cave children. Ask Caveman Dave to join in with the actions, encouraging the children to join in with the A sound. When you hear a word with the A sound, can you do the action? Caveman Dave's A, show him your A, everybody. A! a. a. Excellent. <laughs> Are you ready? Caveman Dave a. lives a. in a cave. A. Oh, you are brilliant. They're going to show you how to write A, the split digraph A. Everybody, a. with your piece of chalk, off you go, write it down on the floor. Look at all their A's, Caveman a. Dave. That is brilliant. A. A. Caveman this group of children are using the story Snail Trail by Ruth Brown to reinforce their knowledge of the AI grapheme from phase three of Letters and Sounds. Using snail finger puppets, they are following a snail trail of string to blend the phase four CCVC words S N A L T R A L, blending the sounds from left to right. Once they've practiced reading the words, they can segment the words to practice their spelling. Remember to reinforce their learning with the caption actions, snail trail. These year one children are working within phase five, focusing on the split digraph A. In pairs, using torches, they are exploring the cave to find words with the AE grapheme. then adding them to complete the poem Caveman Dave. Not only is this activity a lot of fun, the multi-sensory experience will make the GPCs of A more memorable. If you haven't got a real cave, don't despair, just create some caves using tables in your classroom with blankets over the top. Torches would be wonderful for the children to use, so raid your science coordinator's cupboard when they've gone home for the evening. This final group are practicing building words using the split digraph AE that can be found on Caveman Day's rocks from his cave. They're creating a list of real and pseudo words, a fun game to practice reading. If we change the D for Dave, could we put a different letter? Rave. Good boy! Rave, that's brilliant. 
what we're going to do today is we're going to write the story, but we're going to write it in the past tense, almost like historians. Which is a verb word there? Caveman Dave lives in a cave. Yes. Lives. There we go, lives. And how can we change that to the past tense? The focus for this group is to push their learning on into phase six, looking at the past tense. Once we had identified the verbs, we talked about how we could rewrite the sentences into the past tense. Didn't squash and he didn't shave. Good boy, let me write that for you. He During this guided writing session, I incorporated prior learning of punctuation skills, focusing on the apostrophe. Children are more likely to remember these skills and apply them when the ideas contextualise within an exciting real storybook. Caveman Dave lived in a cave. If this is too challenging for your year one children, consider focusing on the rhyming words using the split diagraph. For example, Caveman Blake. Create a, a word bank of split diagraph words that rhyme with Blake, Lake, Cake, and rewrite the original version accordingly.